I know a ton of white people that are as lazy and sorry and and probably worse than black people I know. It's Black History Month. Now, I know Marjorie Taylor Greene probably doesn't know many black people at all, but I wonder if the ones that she does know knows that she labels them as lazy and sorry. But let's take a walk down history lane. So from 1619 to 1865, you have roughly a 250 year head start where labor was free and you did absolutely nothing but profit off of the labor of human beings. And I'm not just talking about white men, I'm talking about white women as well, which is also documented in They Were Her Property. Now McConnell's all night trait, Mindy, we can move through the eras of where laws were passed that told black people they were not allowed to own land, make a livable wage couldn't work outside of subservient roles and were harassed for trying to be educated. Now, Mildew Misty, I know you're probably also unaware of the fact that black women in the state of North Carolina were forced to go to work for white women or they would face imprisonment because white women were too lazy to do the work themselves in their homes, like raising their own children and cleaning their own houses. However, methamphetamine, Margaret, I would just like to remind you that you yourself say that you make $174,000 a year since being in Congress. For two years, you were not on a committee. You were collecting a check for doing absolutely nothing. You are the epitome of the welfare queen. So if anyone is lazy and sorry, you may need to take a look in the mirror, unless you're afraid you'll crack it.